It is 4 a.m. and you're probably wondering what the heck we're doing out here at 4 a.m. I'm heading out to the Kearney Springs Trailhead to do the Ridgeline Trail. One of the strangest things happened uh, not long ago. I was at the climbing gym and uh, this kid, his name's Chase, uh, walked up to me and says, Moon Juice! Hey, I love your videos. And I thought, what? I, I was really surprised that somebody, that you know, a total stranger, uh, has seen these little videos I throw together. And um, it's really funny. My wife looked at me and she goes, oh, honey, you've got a fan. <laughs> I said, hey, let's go on a hike sometime. So today's the day my only fan, uh, Chase, and I are going to hit the Ridgeline Trail. We're dropping a car off at Kearney Springs. And um, we'll make our way over to the Lost Dutchman Park and start our way up uh, the Siphon Draw Trail. The Ridgeline Trail includes going up to Flatiron and then along the Ridgeline Trail and then down uh, Kearney Springs. Well, what do you say, Chase? So far, so good? So far, so good, yeah. It's six in the morning now. Really comfortable, feels like it's about 75. We're gonna be in the shade all the way up to Flatiron. So, tip number one, start early. Tip number two, make sure you're hydrated. You're gonna need it. And tip number three, if you're not a local, don't come out here when it's gonna be 100 degrees in the summer. You'll find yourself on a helicopter getting pulled off of this mountain. <laughs> Let's get moving. <laughs> Scale of uh, one to ten, how much energy did we use to get up here? About five? five at least, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. The ridge line is no joke. And honestly, it's nice and cool right now. But I don't know if you noticed, there's no one here. It's because it's not gonna stay cool for very long. We're gonna take a long, much needed break right now. Focus time, you know. We're on our way up to Superstition Peak. Chase is leading the way. 
Yeah, you know, something like this. If it gets us there, it works. <laughs> I'm at nine and three quarters and we got a long way to go. <laughs> yeah. It's getting hot now. I feel it. Yeah. I believe we have about a mile to the Kearney Springs turn. Maybe maybe less, but it's all climbing. Yeah. And you can see Superstition Peak up there. We were just there. And now it looks super, super far away. It does. We were just there too. It's crazy. So we're getting close, but we are definitely experiencing what it's like to hike in 100 degree heat now. It's hot. Look at me and Chase trying to find some shade. <laughs> There's not much, but we found a little sliver. And it's, we, we, it's desperately needed right now. We are here to attest certainty that hiking the ridgeline trail when it's nearly 100 degrees is hard definitely wouldn't recommend it if you're not really comfortable hiking in uh, hot weather i've got about a liter of water left what do you have about a liter yeah yeah so of, of the four liters i started with i got about a liter left which is pretty good i'm gonna enjoy it all the way down carney springs what do you say any, any, yeah. uh, any thoughts? I don't know. No, I'm just tired. <laughs> We're going to get tacos. We know we've been thinking about it for at least a couple hours. Yeah. So. Chase and I have decided that hiking the Ridgeline Trail in the 100 degree heat is a, is a, uh, it's a gamble. If you want to uh, see what it feels like to not be able to feel your legs anymore, we recommend giving it a try. Because they stopped working a long time ago. We're, we are making it to the truck on sheer willpower at this point. And the thought of tacos and cold drinks. That's the only thing keeping me going. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I look like you, Jack. Yeah. 